Hey, welcome everybody. Today we're exploring website security with Cloudways, the sponsor of this video. Looking at how managed hosting protects online businesses and gives peace of mind to freelancers, agency owners, and e-commerce managers. We face real threats daily that target businesses of all sizes, such as DDoS attacks, malware infections, SQI injections, cross-site scripting, brute force attacks, and the consequences can be devastating. I'm talking about privacy breaches, SEO impacts, reputational damage, lost in sales if you have an e-commerce website, and long-term brand damage. This is why managed hosting platforms are an excellent choice because they can handle all the technical details, allowing you to focus on scaling your business. You don't have to go and search for third-party performance or security plugins. Cloudways has everything in a single platform. It's just like plug and play. In this section, I'm going to walk you through creating a new server and application using Cloudways. And then later on, I will explain some of the features that they have to offer. If you wish to follow along, I will put my affiliate link in the description below if anybody wants to use it. And from here, they do offer free day trial and you don't need to add your credit card, which is great. Just click on start with free trial and you should be good to go. I've already got an account, so I'm going to log in. If your user interface doesn't look like this, then you might be using the classic user interface. And in order to switch to the new one, if you wish to, you can go to your profile here and there should be a button. Now from here, let's create our first server and application. So let's start by selecting application. They have a couple of choices like WordPress. They have a couple of different versions. Uh, we have WooCommerce, PHP, Laravel, and Magenta. In this case, I'm going to go with WordPress and let's give it a name of blog. Let's give the server name of Ruddy Server. And this project is going to be under personal projects. You can name it whatever you like. Now we need to select a server and they have five great options. We have DigitalOcean, Volta, Linode, Amazon, and Google Cloud. They're all great options. I've used DigitalOcean and AWS quite a lot in the past, but today we're going to look into Volta. And this is purely because it has a couple of advantages. The first advantage being that they have the newest generation processors and high performance storage. So if you hover over here on the high frequency eye icon, you should be able to see that this instance is powered by high clock speeds, CPUs and NVMe local storage to power the most demanding applications. So I'm going to leave it as this and then let's go to two gigabytes, which is going to be a lot cheaper. And if you hover over the two gigabytes here, you will see some of the server specs. So we're getting two gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of NVMe disk, two terabytes of transfer and one core processor. The other advantage of using Volta is that you get 28 locations. So if I click on location here, you will see that we are getting some locations in the USA. We're getting some locations in Europe, Asia, we have Canada, North America, South America, and Africa. In this case, I'm gonna go to Europe, London, because this is the closest one to me. And then we can look at the price. And as you can see, this is pay as you go, which I normally prefer because you can literally stop your server and application at any given time and then you won't have to pay anything else than what you already own. And now we can launch our application. Let's click on launch now. And as you can see, you can refer friends and unlock $50 of hosting credits. Let's close this. And this should take approximately 30 minutes, as you can see, in order to create the server and in order to create our application. All right, so while this is happening, it's a good opportunity to talk about some of the features that they offer. On a server level security features, they offer dedicated server level firewall, automated protection with fail to ban. They have regular security patches and updates, two-factor authentication and IP whitelisting. On the application level, you get a free SSL. It's very easy to install. It's basically one click. You get bot protection on WordPress. You get vulnerability scan on WordPress and you get safe updates, which is actually a paid thing. Now for data protection and privacy, you get regular backups, you get data encryption, you get the GDPR compliance, and you have privacy policy implementation. For user access management, you have role-based access control. You can manage user permissions and have secure authentication practices. And the last thing that I wanna mention is their monitoring and auditing. You have real-time monitoring tools and log management and analytics. Okay, now that our server is provisioned, we should also see our application in here on the second tab. And as you can see, we have our WordPress blog that should be now fully working if I click on it. Awesome, let's click on the link here super quickly. And as you can see, we have a standard WordPress website here. 
Okay, let's close it and let's have a look at the new malware protection add-on. Now, I'm not going to go through any of the other setups like a custom domain name and all that. And purely because the main focus of the video is the malware protection. Let's click on it and let's talk about it. Now, when it comes to WordPress, you do have one option. You can install a third party plugin in order to protect your website like WordFence or Security. But the problem with those plugins is that A, they are expensive and B, they live on the same layer as your WordPress website, which means that technically speaking, a malware could bypass your plugin and make your website insecure. And when it comes to custom PHP websites, Magento or Laravel, then it's really up to you to harden your security yourself and there isn't really much you can do in terms of like installing stuff so this is where the malware protection plugin comes in it kind of like adds a security layer on top of your application and this can basically scan your application to remove malicious code from files and databases although database protection is only applicable across wordpress and joomla and you do get real-time scans scheduled scans and automated cleanup which is great now let's talk about the pricing super quickly if you have an agency and if you're hosting more than 15 applications you can benefit from having the low price of two dollars per month per application but if not, as you can see, the most expensive one is $4 a month per application, which isn't too bad considering how much value you get from it. If we have a look at the protection that it provides, basically they provide phishing protection, system protection, database protection, malware cleanup, proactive defense, and they have robust protection against all cyber attacks, which is great. In order to enable this on your application, you can click enable protection and that's it. You should be good to go. Honestly, it's as simple as that. From here, you can start a scan once this is ready. Here we go. This is completed successfully. So now you can scan your website. And then if you go to history, you will see that um, I've actually scanned it earlier. And as you can see, obviously, this is a new website. Hopefully, it won't have any malware on it. Everything is here under your scan history. And you can have your proactive defense just like that without having to do anything else to recap this video don't rely on security plugins keep your website up to date teams plugins and so on use strong unique passwords and two-factor authentication implement web application firewall do regular backups enable your malware protection and obviously have proactive security practices because as you know security is not one of them things that is set and done this does help quite a bit but uh, you need to look after your website like it's your baby. And the last thing that I wanted to mention is that I want to be completely transparent. Most big managed hosting platforms like WP Engine, Kinsta and Rocket.net are also great. There is nothing wrong with them. Obviously shop around, see what works best for you. And the last thing that I'm going to show you super quickly is the security features comparisons between Cloudways, WP Engine, Kinsta and Rocket.net. Anyways, I hope that you found this video useful. Consider subscribing. Let me know what you think of Cloudways and the new malware protection in the description below. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.